Hi, and welcome to The Winning Hand. I'm Howard Reback, and thank you for betting on yourself. Good morning, or good evening, or good afternoon to everybody watching us on the new program that we call The Winning Hand, the new webcast that we're doing live from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, broadcast obviously around the world through the web. Today I wanted to take a few minutes and uh, just read a couple of emails I had mentioned about two weeks ago that we have received just under 700 emails. My mistake, my web host has told me that right now we are up to over 900 uh, emails that we have received since we began this broadcast. It's phenomenal. And a lot of the, a lot of the emails don't really ask questions, but they are telling me that this is long overdue and it's nice that they have somewhere where they can watch and know that they're not alone, which is very often what happens if you go to a GA or an NA or a AA meeting. It's not that people want you to help resolve their problems. It's just nice for them to know that they're not alone in the world. Two emails I got, received, forgive me, that I'm just going to quickly paraphrase. Uh, the first one, uh, was from a lady in La Jolla, California, who basically says to me, uh, Dear Mr. R, love your new webcast show. Nothing like it on the airwaves at all, radio, nor TV, nor on the web. Can't live without your show. Wouldn't miss it for the world. You know, sounds like I wrote it to myself. Um, very, very appreciative of everything. I have a son who owes sizable amounts of money to loan sharks. And what do I do? Do I bail him out? The family has had many meetings, and we are in a strange predicament. We love our son. What do we do? Well, you know, that, that question probably would take hours and hours to answer. Obviously, it depends on the size of monies. It depends on who, in fact, is, is owed. Uh, I'm not suggesting or recommending anything, but if money was taken on a credit card or an ATM machine as an advance, I wouldn't worry about that, paying it back. If the money has come from what I call people who live on the wrong side of the tracks and the other kinds of people in the world who lend money as a profession, I don't know. Any rehab center and any course and anything you learn about this, doctors and psychologists and gambling therapists would tell you not to. I remember like yesterday, when I was at rehab, we had family day and a parent had stood up in the back of the room asking the professor that day, during family day, that exact question. And I remember the professor just chewing out the mother about absolutely not to help bail out her son at that time. And of course, the son was in the room as a client or as a patient of the rehab center. And he was slowly sinking in his chair, beginning to cry and tremble, worrying about what was going to happen to him when he got out. And I vehemently did not agree with the advice of the professor that day at rehab by making a categoric statement about not helping people out. I think there are so many variables involved about helping somebody in trouble that it's a very, very well-rounded question and a very complicated answer. Uh, I believe family meetings uh, are a necessary evil. It must be done. We have to make sure that we get the truth from the, the gambler and the borrower himself or herself properly. Uh, if needs be, you bring in a professional, be it a banker, a counselor, a therapist, uh, the local police department. But it can't be ignored because God forbid something invariably happens and things do happen to the borrower from the lender if certain loans are ignored. And I talk out of experience and first-hand knowledge. 
this question is a loaded question. I would say to you, discussion is needed and you can't make a 100% foolproof answer by saying no. Gather as much information as you can and make a very, very sound, a sound, a sound plan. It's not that cut and dry, okay? So when it reaches the monies that I apparently believe this lady from La Jolla is talking about, get whatever information you can and make an informed decision. It's a tough topic. We'll talk about it again. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. I'm Howard Reed.